Now at 530, Parma City Schools could be on its way to constructing all new school buildings. The district's Board of Education approved a new district master plan, which would include the largest high school campus here in Northeast Ohio. News 5's Jay Jarvis spoke with the superintendent about the proposed project and how much it could cost taxpayers. School district officials in Parma are hoping that the third time will be the charm for their district master plan, a proposal to get rid of aging school buildings and construct new ones. Last week, the school board approved a 4 to one model, which includes four elementary schools, two middle schools, and one centrally located high school. It would cost between $423 and $450 million, with 37% potentially reimbursed by the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission. It's going to be a, a, a large increase in my taxes uh, and a large increase in everybody's taxes. Former Parma City Schools board member and parent Mike Johns knows what's at stake if voters approve the district's new master plan. A bond issue in the 7.5 to 8 mil range on November's ballot, which would mean an additional $22 a month for homeowners with properties valued at $100,000. But he's willing to pay because he and other taxpayers got to weigh in on the plan this time. When people were asked their opinions, it seemed that the that the administration listened. Johns voted against a failed bond issue in 2021 that would have seen the district follow a 4-2 model with grades 6 through 12 in two buildings. And there was another failure the year before, too. John says parents didn't like the idea. That's why administrators brought them in on the deal. We believe that it's a better plan, honestly. We believe that we used a better process to get to the plan. We were very specific about educating folks before we really got them to weigh in. Superintendent Dr. Charles Smilek says while the price tag is steep, new buildings and consolidating the district's three high schools into one central location will be good for students. He's hoping to get the levy on the November ballot, but knows it's a tough time to ask for more money with inflation affecting everyone's bottom line. We've got some difficult variables that we have to weigh. We don't have to decide that now. Uh, by the time uh, we need to be on the ballot, which would be early August to really make that decision, we've got some time to see how conditions are, are shaping up. Johns, though, believes time is of the essence and that administrators need to make additional changes to make it worth voters' while, like consolidating the three high schools now rather than waiting for a vote. But if the school system ignores the consolidation prior to the levy passing, uh, it, it's going to be very hard to, to tell the parents, well, we're going to spend an extra three or four million dollars every year just to keep two extra schools open, which doesn't make any sense. In Parma, Jay Jarvis, News 5.